Hillary Rodham was born in 1947 in Chicago. She was the first child and only daughter of Dorothy and Hugh Rodham. When she was three years old, the family moved to the suburb of Park Ridge. A former coal miner, Hugh Rodham was a tough-minded Republican and devout Methodist. Dorothy was a former secretary who dreamt of a brilliant career for her firstborn. I grew up in a family where my father was a rock-ribbed conservative Republican, very much in the line of being self-sufficient and responsible. My mother was you know, much more democratically oriented. We used to laugh that they canceled each other's vote out every election. The little girl who rode bicycles and danced grew into a teen who her high school history teacher said was very aware of the changes happening. I had made the remark to Hillary's mother that she certainly seemed to know her current affairs. And her mother then volunteered this information that, well, around the table we expect our children to talk politics and know what's going on locally as well as nationally. As a teen, Hillary Rodden was inspired by the youth minister at her family's church. We had a great youth minister who would say to us all the time, you know, you kids are lucky, you have a lot of blessings, you need to open your eyes to the rest of the world. He took us to see and hear uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. preach in Chicago. I can do none other but disobey an unjust law. I was lucky because my mother and my church kept pushing open uh, yeah. my understanding of the fact that, you know, not everybody looked like me, not everybody was raised like me, not everybody had the opportunities that I had. Politically, she was still her father's daughter, a Republican. This was uh, during the 64 year when uh, Hillary was a senior. And here's Hillary's signature in her own handwriting, promising to work for uh, Barry Coldwater. With excellent grades and active in student council, Hillary Rodham was accepted to Wellesley College, one of the top women's schools in the country. She planned to major in political science. But her father was furious about it because he thought this was this Eastern girls' school. That wasn't at all what he had in mind for her. But she loved it. She was actually head of the Young Republicans at Wellesley. She was a more liberal Republican, sort of a Rockefeller Republican. She supported Ed Brooke, who was the first African-American United States Senator from Massachusetts, and he was a Republican. I think what really started to change Hillary Clinton was the Vietnam War. In her freshman year, Hillary was president of the Young Republicans. As a senior, she was president of the student government. In the years between, she moved from rooting for Goldwater to cheering the anti-Vietnam War campaign of Minnesota Senator Eugene McCarthy. You know, we, we came of age in the Civil Rights Movement, the Vietnam War, the Women's Movement, and a lot of us have had to really kind of find our way, make sense of the world that uh, we're in. By the time she graduated from Wellesley, she'd really migrated from being a Rockefeller Republican to essentially being a Democrat, and a very liberal one. I decided that <laughs> I was much more in the, you know, the camp of people like you know, President Lyndon Johnson trying to promote civil rights, uh, voting rights, uh, ending poverty. Hillary Rodham was chosen to make the first ever commencement speech by a student. She followed a person she had admired when she first went to Wellesley, Massachusetts Senator Edward Brooke. But in that speech, she criticized him. But he supported the Vietnam War. And she used her senior speech to say, young people are dying for nothing, people are being overlooked. You're a senator, I want you to take responsibility for changing the future of the country. A lot of her student friends got up and you know, cheered her, and a lot of the faculty was shocked that she created an eruption. But it actually brought her a lot of attention. Life magazine did a story about her, who was this firebrand girl talking about you know, politics. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.